Hi everyone, my name is Miss Pierce and I'm a fourth grade teacher at Wingland Elementary. Today I'm going to be reading the story, The Day the Crowns Came Home. This is a fun little book that shows uh, some crowns writing some postcards to one of their owners to ask them, you know, different questions about why they were left where they were. So this story is written by Drew Daywalt. He's the author. Our illustrator is Oliver Jeffers. He's the one who drew the pictures for this story. So The Day the Crowns Came Home. see some different items on this page here oh, some underwear over here uh oh all right so the day the crowns came home by drew daywalt illustrated by oliver jeffers one day duncan and his crowns were happily coloring together when a strange stack of postcards arrived for him in the mail hmm. hello from the rug is what it says right here oh Dear Duncan, not sure if you remember me. My name is Maroon Crown. You only colored with me once to draw a scab, but whatever. Anyway, you lost me two years ago in the couch. Then your dad sat on me and broke me in half. I never would have survived had paper clipped not nursed me back to health. I'm finally better, so come and get me. And can paper clip come too? He's really holding me together. Sincerely, your marooned crown, maroon crown. Oh man, he's really had a hard time of it. Dear Duncan, no one likes peas. No one even likes the color pea green. So I'm changing my name and running away to see the world. Sincerely, Esteban the Magnificent the crown formerly known as P. Green. He gave himself a cape and he's running off. Hi, Duncan. It's me, Neon Red Crown. Remember that great holiday we had with your family? Remember how we laughed when we drew a picture of your dad's sunburn? Remember dropping me by the hotel pool when you left? Clearly you do not because I'm still here. How could you miss me? Anyway, after eight months waiting for you to come and get me, I guess I'm walking back. Your left behind friend, Neon Red Crown. So he's got his bags packed over here and he's ready to make his own way home. <clears throat> Duncan, it's us, yellow and orange. We know we used to argue over which of us was the color of the sun, but guess what? Neither of us wants to be the color of the sun anymore. Not since we were left outside and the sun melted us together. You know the real color of the sun? Hot, that's what. We're sorry for arguing. You can make green the sun for all we care. Just bring us home. You're not so sunny friends, yellow and orange. You see, they colored the sun green in that picture and poor yellow and orange melted together. <clears throat> hey, Duncan, I'm sure you don't recognize me after the horrors I've been through. I think I was tan crown or maybe burnt sienna. I don't know. I can't tell anymore. Have you ever been eaten by a dog and puked up on the living room rug? Because I have. I have been eaten by a dog and puked up on the rug, Duncan, and it's not pretty, not pretty at all. I'm more carpet fuzz than crayon now. Can you please bring me back your indigestible friend, tan, or possibly burnt sienna crown? Oh no, poor burnt sienna or tan. <laughs> Dearest Duncan, um, could you please open the front door? Still need to see the world. Sincerely, Esteban the Magnificent, crown formerly known as P. Green, still trying to make his way out to the world. <clears throat> hey, Duncan, remember last Halloween we told your little brother there was a ghost under the basement stairs? Then we drew that scary stuff on the wall. It sure was funny when he ran screaming, right? but it wasn't so funny when you forgot to take me out of the basement. Please come and get me. 
I'm kind of terribly horrified. Your scare friend, glow in the dark crown. Uh oh, poor guy got left down with all the monsters they drew. Dear Duncan, looks like I'm almost home. Been through China, Canada, and France, I think. Just crossing Newcastle by camel now. Newcastle has giant pyramids, right? See you soon, neon red crown. Next stop, the North Pole, I think. Well, he thinks he's in Newcastle with the great pyramids there. I don't think that's where he's really at. Might be a little lost. <clears throat> Duncan, does page eight to Pirate Island ring a bell? Kind of a big payday for Captain Greenbeard there, don't you think? And no bronze or silver in that pile, huh? I told you it'd make me blunt if you colored each coin individually. But would you listen? No. I also told you those stupid crown sharpeners never work. Did you listen to that? Also, no. No, I can't color anything at all. Your pointless friend, gold crown. <laughs> so he colored all of those loop pieces for the pirate there. And now gold crown doesn't have a point anymore. <clears throat> Dear Duncan, I've seen the world. It's rainy. I'm coming back. Esteban the Magnificent. <laughs> he didn't get very far. Poor P. Green, a.k.a. Esteban the Magnificent. Hi, Duncan. You're probably wondering why my head is stuck to your sock. A question I ask myself every day. Well, it's because last week you left me in your pocket and I ended up in the dryer. I landed on your sock and now he's stuck to my head. Can you please come and get me? Also, why does everything you wear still smell even after it's washed? You're a stinky, socky, stucky on head buddy, turquoise crown. P.S. Sock says hi. <laughs> you see over here, tell him I said hi. <laughs> Dear Mr. Duncan, I know I'm not your crown. I know I belong to your baby brother, but I can't take him anymore. In the last week alone, he's bitten the top off of my head, put me in the cat's nose, drawn on the wall, and tried to color rubbish with me. The worst part is he is a terrible artist. I can't tell what his drawings are. Donkeys? Monkeys? Donkey monkeys? Picasso said every child is an artist, but I don't know. I don't think he met your brother. Please rescue me, your desperate friend, big, chunky, toddler crown. <laughs> you can see the bite taken out of him over here. Oh. Hey, it's our friend Neon Red. Duncan, greetings from the Amazon rainforest. Oh. I don't know if he knows where he's at there. Making great time. I think I'm almost home. Neon red crown. <laughs> Hello, Duncan. It's me, brown crown. You know exactly why I want to run away, buddy. Everyone thinks I get all the great coloring jobs. Chocolate, puppies, ponies. Lucky me, right? But they don't know what else you used me to color, do they? I didn't think so. The rest of that drawing was great. But did it really need that final brown scribble? I'll come back. But please, let's stick to chocolate, okay? You're a very embarrassed friend. Brown, crown. Uh-oh. Or a brown crown. <laughs> Oh, look at all those postcards. Duncan was sad to learn of all the crowns he'd lost, forgotten, broken, or neglected over the years. So he ran around gathering them up. But Duncan's crowns were all so damaged and differently shaped that they used to be that they no oh and differently shaped than they used to be that they no longer fitted in the crown box. So Duncan had an idea. He built a place where each crown would always feel at home. 
Can you see this guy over here? Well, there's no dogs down there, are they? No, no turkeys either. Oh, you flatter me, but it's not real chocolate. Hey, let's have a party. <laughs> so it says, this one is from my blue period. And then, but it's not really blue, more lilac. Says, I think that door is for us. Ah, there you are. I could do with a haircut. <laughs> Hope there isn't a metal detector. I know I think everyone is welcome. Looks good, lads. Says, who are you wearing? Oh, I think he goes by Ted. I'm Ted. So the sock there is Ted. A nice little picture here. That crown fort for all of the different crown friends. Very nice. <laughs> All right. And then in Cleveland, I got to hike the Great Wall of China. So Neon Red finally made it back, even though he wasn't quite sure where he was every time. <laughs> All right. So that's the end of our story here. You see some more cool postcards on the back there. All right. So the day the crowns came home. Wonderful story. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for joining me for this story today. And I hope you guys have a wonderful Read Across America week. Thank you.